What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a commentary about what I think the MLB needs to do to speed up their sport, to speed up their games. Um, in case you guys don't know, my favorite sports are uh, baseball, football, and soccer. And um, I'm like a big, I'm a big sports fan. I support all the Eagles team or Philadelphia teams, the Eagles, the Phillies, the Union. Uh, my favorite soccer team of all time is Everton. Um, I said something about that in one of my FIFA videos. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, uh, real quick about the gameplay, defender, it's a defender team deathmatch, I'm using the ASM1, uh, we do lose the game, but I go 25 and 12, which is good for me, so, um, we only lose by like 5 kills, so, uh, I feel it's still a good gameplay, it's still worthy of YouTube, so, um, anyway, uh, so I think, number one, the MLB needs to add a timer of like 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds between pitches, and if you don't um, meet the timer, it should, uh, what's it called, it should be a ball for the batter's count, so like, say it's a new batter, so it's a 0-0 zero, zero count, and the pitcher takes a minute to take to pick a pitch, well then it would be uh, one ball, zero strikes, and I think that's necessary because it seems like it takes about three minutes, or not three minutes, but it seems like it's three minutes between pitches, especially when it's late in the game. Um, they want to make sure they do the right pitches, and I understand that, but it shouldn't take, it should, they shouldn't be staring there, standing there, staring for 30 seconds, then finally get set, wait there for 15 seconds, then throw a pickoff or something. Like, I don't think that's fair. I think they should have to, and I think there should be a limit on the amount of pickoffs you can do uh, per batter. Um, because there was one time, I think it was Papelbon threw like eight pickoffs in a row, and I was getting really annoyed. Um, and if maybe if there's a runner on base, it'll be a balk that way. Um, it wouldn't be like like that way the runner would advance and it would give them more motivation instead of it being a ball. Um, another thing they could do is they should limit the amount of mid in mid inning subs except for injuries, like mid inning pitching changes. Um, because, like, the Phillies are, are known for, were known for in 2008 when they went to the World Series. They would have uh, J.C. Romero come in, Ryan Madsen come in, and then Brad Lidge come in. Or J.C. Romero, Antonio Bastardo. Well, it would be it would be J.C. Romero, then Ryan Madsen, then Antonio Bastardo, and that would be one inning. Um, in case you don't know, Romero and Bastardo are left-handers, and Madsen was a right-hander. And then the ninth inning, they'd bring in Lidge and have him do the save. Well, it's not necessary to do the specialist thing. Like, just bring a guy in to pitch the inning. It's not that big of a deal. Because um, right I was a right-handed pitcher when I played baseball. I could pitch the left-handed batters just as well as I could pitch the right-handed batters. Just That's just my opinion. I mean, I struck out the right-handed batters with the sliders, but... Ugh. Another thing they need to do, though, to make it more entertaining, is they need to like stop expanding the strike zone. They should just keep it from the knees to the letters, like it was. Now it's expanded about 40 square inches since, uh, not 40 square inches, but like four, it's expanded a lot. A, wow, a lot. Um, and it makes strikeout after strikeout isn't fun to watch. I mean. When it's a pitcher's duel, they're fun to watch. When it's back and forth games, they're fun to watch. But, I mean, if there's strikeout after strikeout, they're just boring. Like, I'd rather see a ball go into play, someone makes a diving catch or something like that. Those are more fun to watch than just seven straight strikeouts or nine straight strikeouts. That's just my opinion. So I think they should stop expanding the strike zone and start keeping it from the knees to the letters. Maybe a little bit expanded from that. Maybe, like, the knees to the shoulders or something, but... Um, that would definitely improve contact, I think, because uh, pitchers would throw in the strike zone. Um, another thing is they need to limit the amount of times a batter can step out per out bat. Because, like you know, you've seen it. If they have two strikes, they they well, no, Raul Ibanez. I'm just going to use a lot of Phillies examples. Raul Ibanez, after every pitch, would step out, spit, spit uh, some of the tobacco. Adjust his, both of his gloves, then adjust his cup. Like, it's not necessary to do that after every pitch. Yeah, I understand maybe once an at-bat or twice an at-bat. Well, no. I, th I don't think it should be more than once. Um, but I think it's ridiculous that like the guys do it after every at-bat, and it takes a long time. 
Uh, oh, back to the pitching changes thing real quick. I think it should be three pitch, three mid-inning pitching changes per game, uh, and it's um, an, unless of an injury after the three are used. But if there's someone that gets hurt, it should count and if you have them left. But anyway, back to what I was saying about the uh, timeouts. It's not really like fair to the fans that they have to sit there and watch a guy adjust his cup on national television um, four times in that bat. Like... It's not like he was even running or anything. Um, he was standing there and his... Uh, that, that means he just needs to get a new jock stripe. Jesus Christ. Um, another thing is, like, the relievers, when they come in, they don't need two minutes to warm up. They don't need... Well, it's more than, like... It's more like four minutes to warm up. They should have... They should have to throw, like, five pitches to warm up because they just warmed up in the bullpen. I understand. They don't all only throw in the bullpen. They... They do other things. That they stretch, they drink Gatorade, make sure they're hydrated because they can't do anything on the drink anything on the mound, um, and they get their arms loose and ready. And I understand that, but they have, especially if they're warming up a whole inning. Like Brad Lidge would stand up in the top of the ninth if the Phillies were home or were away. Brad Lidge would stand up and warm up in the top of the ninth, and he'd still come in and throw, like, 15 pitches. Like, throw five. What do you need 15 pitches for? Um, I do like the challenge rule. Um, I think that's a good rule because that makes it more fair to the teams. But I don't really think I have anything else. There's just some things that need to be done to speed up the game. It's, it's ridiculous that the MLB... Okay, I was looking at a stat today. The MLB averages... A uh, game is three hours and 13 minutes. That's with commercial breaks. The NFL averages like five minutes longer. So it was like three, or I think it was like three hours and 20 minutes for NFL games and three hours and 40 minutes for a uh, NCAA college football game. So, no, it, it was like three hours and like 30 minutes for a uh, college football game. And there's over 100 plays on offense, but there's only 50 plays in an MLB game. But that's just my opinion. They need to speed it up and make it more entertaining because I love baseball, but I'm not going to watch it if it keeps getting slower. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Be down in the description below. As always, guys, it's been sick crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.